Hey, Steve with RV to Cycle. For regular viewers, you're going to recognize this video as a bit different from our norm. We're going to feature some harvest toast stays, some bicycling, and some eating. If any of that interests you, stay tuned. So this journey began with a stop at Walmart in Elkton, Maryland. Wow. What an interesting experience. The aisles in this store are massively wide, and the store itself is eerily empty. If you ever shop at Walmart, you know what I'm talking about. This store is either new, or this is the Revenge of the Body Snatchers. There's just nobody around. Evening number one began with a stay at the Maryland Beer Company in Elkton, Maryland. They had an area for outdoor dining, and inside, when the lights are turned on, you can actually see into the workings of the brewery. They had a great selection of beers. Unfortunately, their kitchen was not open the night we were there. They did, however, make a recommendation of a restaurant which was down the street and delivered, an Italian restaurant. So. That's what we did. We made a phone call and 30 minutes later we had a great Italian meal delivered to us, which we ate in the outside dining area. Our first harvest host stay was about seven to eight minutes away from one of the starting points of the C and D, which is Chesapeake and Delaware Canal. This is a canal that connects the Delaware River to Chesapeake Bay and along the entire length is a multi-use paved path used by cyclists, equestrian, as well as pedestrian. And we took full advantage of the proximity. This trail is 15 miles in length, so a round trip would be approximately 30 miles. Along the way, you go through a nature preserve. There is one historic spot where we did stop and spend some time. And you go around a marina, past wetlands. Also, about halfway, there's an ice cream shop. Another neat thing is you can see barges and other types of watercraft going through this canal, which is 45 feet deep and it is about 450 feet wide. There are a number of bridges along the way. There's at least one that raises for the big boys and girls as they come through. So tonight we're staying at another Harvest Host. This is Midnight Oil Brewing Company. Brewing Company. I couldn't remember if it was brewing Across or brewing. Across from a chocolate factory. <laughs> yeah. Right back here behind us. They're making chocolate, and man, it smells, it smells good. <laughs> oh, it, 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 it's like ODing on Hershey, Pennsylvania in terms of the aroma. Wow. Anyway, the uh, microbrewery has a food truck tonight, and we got some food from the food truck. And now it's time to start eating. So Kelly got a chicken katsu katsu bowl and Steve got a spicy pork, spicy pork bowl and it, it looked so good we started eating before we remembered we needed to film this food. <laughs> I'm enjoying a beverage from the Midnight Oil Brewing Company. Chocolate covered strawberry stout. Very good. The instructions from the bartender are to parallel park in an area that um, kind of depends on how many people they have in a bar at night. When we got here, there was no one, so we moved down here to get beneath a shade tree. Now, the bar itself, or the uh, microbrewery itself, is right down here. Like many Harvest Toasts, this one does welcome pets. In fact, as you can see, the Great Dane going up the ramp and they will enter into the microbrewery. He just took the Dane out for a walk a minute ago. Oop! Huh. Must not want to go back in. Maybe the music's too loud for him. 
So we do have one complaint about this harvest host, Midnight Oil Brewing Company. And that is right back here, three minute walk, there is a cocoa processor. It smells like Hershey, Pennsylvania on steroids here. Oh my word. All I can think about is chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. The downside, they don't sell directly to public. They sell raw chocolate ingredients to manufacturers and processors. It makes it worse. Other than that, I got nothing negative to say about this place. This is where we're staying tonight. Already had our dinner. Food truck, which is actually like prepared prepared in their own kitchen. They just have to sell it out of here. Really weird. But hey, it's all good. And if things get too wild, or you choke on your stuff. Yep. Oh, stumble going out the stumble going down the stairs out of the yeah, brewery. Well that's all for pets. Oh well, this is a pet hospital. Well I guess I think can fix your broken leg too. <laughs> and here we are. There's our host up here. Locust Lane Craft Brewery. Now normally he said you park here where these boats are in that truck <laughs> because they think that's the flattest spot. There's actually three boats in there. Yeah, three boats and a box truck. Oh my word, there's four boats. Oh, <laughs> one boat inside the flat bottom boat. Anyway, that's normally where people would park, is where the boats are, but yeah, we're good. Tonight marks the fourth consecutive and our final Harvest Host Night. Tonight we were staying in the Westchester, Pennsylvania area at the American Helicopter and Education Center. You can see some of the outside displays here, and then there's some more back here. We actually got here a bit too late today to be able to tour the museum. It takes anywhere from one to two hours. Rule of thumb, that's the advice that's given from the sources we consulted. And here we are. Ranch Creek State Park. This is where we ended up after all of our harvest host stays this week. Full hookups, fire ring, picnic table. Quite nice. One of the nice things about going back to a place where you've lived before is you know where the good restaurants are. So we stopped for lunch after completing a number of doctor's appointments today. And we're about to chow down on some great Chinese food. So Kelly's having, I have no idea what you're having. Kung Pao chicken. Kung Pao chicken. And I'm having Singapore rice noodles. Yeah. All right, so here's mine. Look at that. Shrimp, pork, pork chicken, um, and some green, uh, so there's some cabbage. There's also usually a little celery in there. And these are rice noodles. They're very small, looks kind of like angel hair pasta. And it is spicy, which I love. And this is from the China Wok. Well, that's it for today. Hope you got something out of this, if nothing but a little enjoyment. Thanks for watching. We do appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.